Okay, so today is day 20, um, and this is of the 30-day servo motion project. So coordinated motion from start to finish. Um, basically, the all the ACD file, which we've pretty much gotten done. We're going to re probably recap it in the next, next few videos. Um, a lot of the HMI stuff we've gotten done, made the client. Uh, we were making our drive control screen right now. Uh, basically what we've done so far is we've added the uh, axis velocity readout <coughs> and we for each axis and I added in the uh, numeric input input to change the draw and what I'll do is I'll show you that um, you know as as it runs so if we change the draw to like 1.2 that the axis will slow down and say for instance we did 1.1 they all independently slow down and do what they're supposed to be doing so at this point <clears throat> this point in the machine you know you'd see you would see the you know the, the process running you know these two running 24 of a velocity and these two running 22 of that, that same velocity so <clears throat> what I want to do is, is straighten this out real quick it's a little bit high. See if that worked. Okay. I don't know why that was a little bit high before, but anyway, what we want to do is add our start stops um, on this video and not have. Uh, we also want to come back in and, and throw in something that we had on the main header, which is our state indicator. So we'll just copy and paste that over. All right, we're going to have that up, up up on the top, so we may not need that. Um, so, yeah, that's probably a good idea just to keep it like it is. But what we can do is, uh, is we have our, our start stops and stuff. So we'll keep this kind of simple. We'll come in and we'll add in a button. So we'll add in a button and we'll call the button so we'll do let's see appearance and we'll do system start we'll make that bold color we want to have that's fine so apparently I need to make that just a little bit wider okay so what we want to do is is uh, pick our action uh, we want to come in in our actions and we want to look at the Uh, let's see, I think it's controls. So, no. So, I think it's all commands. And then all commands you want to go to set. Okay, set, and then pick your tag. Um, so in the tags, we want to pick we, we want to make sure we pick the right one so we want the start button and if we look in our 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 code so if we look back on our code our code we we have so if we look at the machine start it's actually um, HMI system system start push button so what we'll do is we'll call that we'll go back and and look at the main program and then we'll look for I think it's HMI, so I gotta scroll this over. HMI. So here we go. HMI start push button. So that throws our tag in there. Set to one. 
Okay, so we want to set it to one, right? And then at the very bottom, we want to copy the same statement and put it down here and set it to zero. And the reason we do that is so we have we don't have sticky buttons or any kind of chance of one. So we want to set the bit, right? We want to set the bit to a one when we press it. When we release it, we want to set it back to a zero. So let's do this same thing, just copy and paste. Right, so copy and paste. We'll get these on the same level so they look halfway decent. And come back and do the name. So this would be the stop. And we want to do... Let's just scratch this and do this again so you can see the process. Uh, all commands, come back and go to set. Pick your tag. If you know the tag, enter it in. Um, in this case, then come back in and set the value you would like to set it at. So that you see the name, the whole command string down here. Hit finish. Take this, copy it, and paste it down below and set to zero. Uh, you can find it and do the set to zero the same way we did. It's up to you. I just choose to do the copy and paste because it's quicker. So let's see if this works. Oh, let's take that out too. I do not like to highlight. Um, so make sure you change that accordingly. Um, if you like it, like it. I mean, go ahead. But So let's stop it. Mm. That doesn't work. Okay, see what's going on. Um, so HMI tag. So HMI bits. Stop bits. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Alright, so this needs to be done like this instead of this. What we need to do is go to pause one and then do it like this. So take that out, put it right here. Uh, sorry if I did that a little quick. All we're doing is doing a pause. Right. So set to one and pause for one second and then set to zero. No, what happened right there? Okay. All right, set to zero. All right. So let's see if this works this time. Okay, that worked. Okay, so, so the system, what happened there um, was it was setting a one and setting a, uh, a, a zero so, so fast that the program was not scanning it in time to do actually do all the functions. Because if you look at our, our scanning time, it's 50. 75 milliseconds, 80 milliseconds, 50 milliseconds, um, all those things have to, well, the really one that was a showstopper is the 80 milliseconds. The imp, the 80 milliseconds and the um, start and stop. So basically that was equating out to over 100 milliseconds and we were doing it within a split second. So we needed to have a one second uh, hold in there. So basically, hold the bit for one second, pause, you know, pause it, and then, it, and then write a zero to it. So that's the correct way to do an anti-sticky button. So anyway, so now that we have that done, start stops. Um, let's let's go ahead and close this screen, and let's open up the bottom bar, and let's make a button. So let's go ahead and make a navigation button. <clears throat> navigation. We'll call this uh, actually that's the wrong button. Okay. 
this is still regular but pop pull it up that way okay so run this command we want to display a graphic navigation display and then we'll go to our area which our area is the top layer come back and load into what do we call this the servo no we didn't call it that axis control screen okay so uh, we want to cut that on and so at this point we we'll give it a name axis controls make sure it's bold okay so close this out close that out and then we will go ahead and run our client again so we're going to start the client make sure everything works the way it should um, after that you know we'll pretty much uh, meaning we're probably going to have to adjust the screen a little bit but we'll see we may have to, to add some other elements to make it kind of look a little bit better. But as far as this goes, this is a rough example of, you know, what's going, you know, how to make a, a system work accordingly. But right now, this is like a test, so, right. Okay, so everything popped up correctly. Go to, okay, so our, our, Macro is still running because we're not signed in. Okay. Go to our drive screen. Uh, let's stop it. Okay. The axis is stopped. Let's see. Let's see if this transitions the correct way. All right. So you've seen it start. It started. It started running. Um, so we're building everything the way we should. Everything. The state machine is completely running. The system is uh, running the way it should and so if I hit a stop button stop and ready so it goes to stop and ready I hit a start button start and then it goes to running so uh, again in changing the draws it's just as simple as going and inputting the data um, then it, it automatically changes the draw of what the, the system is running so you know, as far as that goes, you know, that's just pretty much, uh, you know, pretty much going back and uh, getting it run, getting everything running the way it should. So, uh, as far as this goes, we can put in some faults and stuff of this nature later. Um, we can come back and do that. That'll be done with the, uh, the HMI, or not the HMI, but the uh, ACD file. And what we'll do on the ACD files, but we'll come back and put some ALMDs, put some faults in there. You know, basically show um, what happens when a fault's triggered, and and as far as getting the uh, the banner working up here the correct way, um, you know, make sure the dates and everything are right. And um, like I said, just uh, hopefully this kind of showed you, you know, how to quickly make a system. Again, we um, let's just go back to the screen. Uh, so go back to our access control. And like I said, we may we may come back and make this a lot prettier too, and make this a lot better. Um, right now, just a cut and dry example for it. You know, the last uh, last video in this video it shows you that the machine is running. Um, the state machine is fully running, fully operational. Um, all the axes are working together. Uh, we will come back and, and actually show that um, in a more efficient fashion. You know, as far as detailed. You know, so shows everything doing like it's supposed to be doing. And I just want to close on that, you know, not to take up too much of your time today. Um, you know, time. And so we're probably going to shift back off of, uh, shift back off of HMIs and shift back onto the ACD file. And then as we do that, we're going to do the ALMDs, the faults, um, what, what will occur. Um, you know, just little small stuff like that. You know, uh, like if we hit an e-stop, uh, the this, this scenarios on that stuff. And let's do that, too. That's that's one thing we haven't done. Not to take up too much more of your time, but let's just look at if we hit an e-stop relay. 
So we hit an e-stop and the e-stop. So the top banner is working good. Um, the whole system is working good. So again, that just uh, everything's starting to come together a little bit better. So, but uh, just want to kind of show you that we we will let you know uh, that we will be going back to the ACD file and then kind of flip flopping back, flip flopping back and forth till the whole project is done. But you know, with 10 days left, I, th I feel like we should be able to finish it and then come back and maybe have a, the last two days as a, a good explanation of what we did from start to scratch. Uh, I think that would be a good like recap, um, you know, not to not to recap too much during the, the videos. So again, thank you for your time and uh, thank you for your support. So we'll be doing some more. See you tomorrow.